Cornwall is a place where rugged landscapes meet quaint villages, where history comes alive in ancient castles, and where the ocean's beauty takes your breath away. In this video, we'll explore the top reasons why Cornwall should be on your travel bucket list, from its stunning natural beauty to its rich cultural heritage. Let's get started with the must-see spots that make Cornwall truly special. Explore Cornwall's Stunning Coastlines Land's End 1. Land's End is a dramatic meeting point of land and sea, where towering cliffs drop sharply into the Atlantic Ocean. It's more than just a geographical marker, it's a place steeped in folklore and maritime history. The Land's End experience offers visitors a chance to learn about the treacherous shipwrecks that have occurred off this coastline and the heroic rescues carried out by the local lifeboat crews. In addition to its natural beauty, the area features the iconic signpost where you can take a picture marking your visit to this famous landmark. For families, there's also an interactive farm park and a visitor center that caters to all ages, ensuring that Land's End is not only a place of awe-inspiring scenery but also a hub of entertainment. Porth Kernow Beach and Minack Theatre 1. Porth Kernow Beach is a slice of paradise tucked away in a sheltered bay, framed by high granite cliffs that provide both a sense of seclusion and stunning views. This beach isn't just about its natural beauty. It's also historically significant as the site of the Porth Kernow Telegraph Museum, which tells the story of how this remote beach became a global communications hub in the 19th century. Just a short walk from the beach, the Minack Theater is an extraordinary feat of human ingenuity. Carved into the cliffs by Rowena Cade and her team in the 1930s, this open-air theater hosts a variety of performances against the backdrop of the Atlantic Ocean. The combination of dramatic plays and the natural setting makes for a truly unforgettable experience. Southwest Coast Path 1. The Southwest Coast Path is a long-distance trail that stretches over 630 miles, offering walkers the opportunity to explore Cornwall's most rugged and breathtaking coastal landscapes. In Cornwall, some of the most popular sections include the route from St. Ives to Zenner, which is known for its dramatic cliffs and views of the Atlantic, and the stretch from Porth Kernow to Land's End, where the path takes you past hidden coves, ancient tin mines, and wildflower-strewn headlands. Along the way, you can discover secluded beaches, quaint fishing villages, and remnants of Cornwall's industrial heritage. Whether you're up for a challenging hike or a gentle stroll, the path offers something for everyone with plenty of spots to stop, rest, and take in the spectacular scenery. Dive into Cornwall's rich history. Tintagel Castle and Merlin's Cave 1. Tintagel Castle is one of Cornwall's most iconic historical sites, renowned for its association with the legend of King Arthur. The castle, perched high on the cliffs of the north coast, offers visitors not only a glimpse into medieval life, but also stunning views of the coastline. The site is split between the mainland and a rocky peninsula, connected by a recently constructed footbridge that adds to the drama of the location. Merlin's Cave, located beneath the castle, is accessible at low tide and adds a sense of mysticism to the visit. According to legend, this cave was the home of Merlin, the wizard who mentored King Arthur. The cave's dark, echoing chambers and the sound of waves crashing against the rocks create an atmosphere that is both eerie and enchanting. St. Michael's Mount 1. St. Michael's Mount is a tidal island with a history that stretches back over a thousand years. The mount is home to a medieval church and castle that have served as both a place of pilgrimage and a fortress. The island is accessible by foot at low tide via a causeway, offering visitors the unique experience of walking across the seabed. Once on the island, you can explore the castle's richly decorated rooms, which are filled with relics from the island's storied past, including armor, tapestries, and antique furniture. The gardens, which feature subtropical plants that thrive in the island's unique microclimate, are also worth exploring. From the castle's terraces, you can enjoy panoramic views of the surrounding coastline and Mounts Bay, a site that has inspired artists and writers for centuries. Falmouth and Pendennis Castle 1. Falmouth is a bustling town with a rich maritime history situated on one of the world's deepest natural harbors. The town is home to the National Maritime Museum Cornwall, which offers a fascinating insight into Cornwall's seafaring heritage 
from its role in global exploration to its connections with piracy and naval warfare. Pendennis Castle, located on a headland overlooking Falmouth, was built by Henry VIII to defend against invasion and played a significant role during the English Civil War. Today, the castle is a well-preserved example of Tudor military architecture, and visitors can explore the keep, gun platforms, and barracks, as well as enjoy interactive exhibits that bring its history to life. The surrounding grounds offer stunning views of the FAL estuary and the Atlantic Ocean, making it a perfect spot for a picnic. Experience the local culture, St. Ives and the art scene. 1. St. Ives is not just a picturesque coastal town, it is also a thriving cultural hub, renowned for its vibrant art scene. The town's unique light, caused by the reflection of the sea and the white sand, has attracted artists for over a century. The Tate St. Ives, part of the Tate Gallery Network, showcases modern and contemporary art, with a particular focus on works inspired by the local landscape. The Barbara Hepworth Museum and Sculpture Garden, located in the artist's former studio and home, offers an intimate look at the life and work of one of Britain's most important sculptors. St. Ives itself is a maze of narrow, cobbled streets lined with galleries, studios, and artisan shops, making it a delight for art lovers and those looking to explore the town's creative spirit. Cornish Cuisine 1. Cornwall's culinary scene is a reflection of its rich cultural heritage and natural resources. The Cornish pasty, with its origins as a portable meal for miners, is now a symbol of the region. These savory pastries are filled with a variety of ingredients, traditionally beef, potato, onion, and swede, and are crimped along the edge to keep the filling secure. Many bakeries across Cornwall claim to make the best pasties, and a visit to the county wouldn't be complete without trying one. In addition to pasties, Cornwall is known for its seafood, with dishes like Cornish crab, mussels, and locally caught fish being staples in many restaurants. The coastal towns are home to some of the UK's best seafood restaurants, where you can enjoy everything from fish and chips to more elaborate dishes, all made with the freshest ingredients. Pair your meal with a pint of Cornish cider or a glass of Camel Valley wine, both of which are produced locally. Traditional events and festivals. 1. Cornwall is a region rich in traditions, many of which are celebrated through festivals and events that bring communities together. The Padstow Abbey Oss Festival, held every May Day, is one of the oldest and most vibrant folk festivals in the UK. The festival revolves around the Abbey Oss, a symbolic figure that parades through the streets accompanied by music, dancing, and singing. The event attracts thousands of visitors each year, who come to experience the unique atmosphere and participate in the celebrations. Another key event is the Falmouth Oyster Festival, which marks the start of the oyster dredging season. The festival features oyster shucking competitions, cooking demonstrations, live music, and plenty of fresh seafood. These events, along with many others throughout the year, offer a deep insight into Cornwall's cultural heritage and the strong sense of community that defines the region. Engage with nature. The Eden Project. 1. The Eden Project is a global garden and educational charity located in a reclaimed clay pit near St. Austell. The site is home to two enormous biomes that house plants from different climates around the world. The rainforest biome, the largest indoor rainforest in the world, takes visitors on a journey through tropical environments, complete with towering trees, waterfalls, and a canopy walkway that offers a bird's eye view of the jungle below. The Mediterranean biome, on the other hand, recreates the climate of the Mediterranean, South Africa, and California, with its warm, dry environment filled with citrus trees, olive groves, and vibrant flowers. In addition to the biomes, the Eden Project features extensive outdoor gardens that showcase the diverse plant life of Cornwall, as well as a variety of art installations, seasonal events, and educational exhibits that focus on sustainability and environmental stewardship. The Lost Gardens of Heligan and Trelissic Garden 1. The Lost Gardens of Heligan is one of the most mysterious and magical estates in England. Once a thriving estate, the gardens were lost for decades after World War I, only to be rediscovered and restored in the 1990s. Today, the gardens are a testament to Victorian horticulture, featuring exotic plants, formal gardens, and ancient woodlands. 
The jungle, with its raised boardwalks and subtropical plants, offers a unique experience, as does the kitchen garden, which still produces fruits and vegetables using traditional methods. Trilisic Garden, located on its own peninsula, offers sweeping views of the FAL estuary and a collection of rare plants from around the world. The garden is a haven for plant enthusiasts, with its combination of formal gardens, woodland walks, and riverside trails. Trilisic is also home to an impressive art gallery and a Georgian mansion, which adds to the historical charm of the estate. The Lizard Peninsula and Kynance Cove 1. The Lizard Peninsula is the southernmost point of mainland Britain, known for its unique geology, rare flora, and dramatic landscapes. The area is a designated Area of Outstanding Natural Beauty, AONB, with its rugged cliffs, hidden coves, and picturesque villages providing endless opportunities for exploration. The lizard is home to a number of rare plant species, some of which are found nowhere else in the UK. Kynance Cove, located on the western side of the peninsula, is particularly famous for its stunning turquoise waters, white sandy beaches, and distinctive serpentine rock formations. The cove is a favorite spot for photographers, hikers, and those seeking a peaceful escape from the busier tourist areas. The nearby Lizard Point, where you can often spot seals and dolphins, adds to the area's appeal, making it a must-visit for nature lovers. Conclusion As we've seen, Cornwall is a place where natural beauty, rich history, and vibrant culture come together to create an unforgettable experience. Whether you're drawn to the dramatic coastlines, the stories of ancient castles, or the charm of its fishing villages, Cornwall offers something for every kind of traveler. From hiking along the southwest coast path to exploring the mystical Tintagel Castle, indulging in a Cornish pasty, or simply soaking in the serene landscapes, Cornwall's allure is undeniable. So whether you're planning your next holiday or just dreaming of a future adventure, let Cornwall inspire you to discover the magic of this incredible corner of England. Until next time, happy travels.